Hello and welcome to a tournament, a tournament, a tournament of lies, a podcast where three friends from around the world attempt to rate every single video game ever. I'm Danny Dwyer in Oakland, my friend James O'Connor, southern of me in Los Angeles. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. It's good to be back. <laughs> good to see you. Although I did see you yesterday when I was in Los Angeles in Santa Ana. Well, I... Yeah, I can't believe it was yesterday. It seems it was. honestly like it was about three or four days ago. There you go. Time is weird, especially in Ireland, where Dennis is currently recording with us at the wonderful time of two in the morning, I think. I have to, but who's counting? Fair play. Uh, you're heading yeah. off to Belgium tomorrow for a good old rock yeah. verster. So, yeah, we're recording at, I think, about half three Belgium time, so... <laughs> Even Pretty later. Tough, yeah. Going off to Belgium for one of those big music fests and a lot of beer. Smashing. Uh Smashing. Yeah, nice work. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's been a month since we did one of these, and there's also probably going to be a week break because I've only got time to record one of them now, and then Dennis is heading off to the continent. Uh, but it's not like much happened in the past month anyway, right? Like, there was no, that so. there was that thing in E3, you know, Los Angeles, that E3 thing, no one cared about that. There was that whole England leaving the EU thing. There was a major sports competition, or two, <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yes. Uh, what have you been doing for the past month, Dennis? Uh, well, certainly one of your references there has taken up the last week of my time, just frantically checking Twitter and being outraged, constantly, constantly outraged over E3. Brentons, I believe it's known as. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have just, I should have let you get that one in quicker. Um, yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, playing my games, mm. not doing a phenomenal amount of work, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I, just I, being generally morally outraged. Yeah, pretty messed up. Uh, I guess does that like cover like your work as well? Because you're like you're like a businessman. Does this affect your businessman? Like uh, mac- macroeconomics and all that stuff. Are you interested yeah. well, in it from I, that I suppose angle? I'm, yeah, I suppose my job is I'm a researcher, and I think like the first thing like anybody in my line of work thinks of when they see this is like event studies. This is just going to be right. God, the amount of event studies that are going to be like three or four years down the line when there's enough data. That's all people are going to be doing, <laughs> like something pre and post Brexit, right. you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be Jesus. It's it's like interesting from that perspective, but mm. it's a shit show from every other perspective. Yeah, completely crazy. I don't know what else to call it. I have, I have no PC terms for it. Yeah, I was down at VidCon uh, last week and basically stayed up all night watching the fallout and like texting my friends mm. like back in London and, and my parents as well at the same time. It was mental. Uh, James, what have you been up to for the past month? Is it busy? Hollywood busy this time of year? Like summertime? It's not too bad. I've been like Dennis. I've been online on Twitter uh, frantically angry at the Ireland team getting knocked out of the Euro Cup. <laughs> uh, the Euro signed- Cup. I've signed the petition uh, for Frexit to get all the baguettes out of Quinsworth <laughs> and uh, bring back Irish soda bread. That's hopefully what's going to go through. Uh, um, I, was, I was asking well, about your, your work because it looks like you've come into some money by the looks of your uh, your camera oh, really? there. <laughs> oh, there's a, that's a long story. It's been a long month, fans. As you'll notice, the uh, partnership with Sparkosoft has gone away. <laughs> uh, their first check bounced, so I bounced. I said, get out of here. No more. So no more at Sparkosoft. You're, you're done. Henry Winkler is still paying his dues, though. He is. Oh, the funds is always going to be there. I does mean, he, if he pays more, does he like get in focus? Maybe. You know what? Uh, to pull the to pull the <laughs> curtain back, the funds actually has had an accident. Oh, so, no. so the uh, the the plan of initially I wanted to get like this beautiful like Baroque style like picture frame, uh, but now there's a giant crease down his head from one day <laughs> of uh, trying to get him to stay up. So. The more out of focus he stays, the better. But I do feel, at least subconsciously, if we have like the fonts somewhere in one of these backgrounds, hmm. like Dennis has all those dipl- uh, the t- diplomas, so I was like, oh, these guys know what they're talking about when we don't. <laughs> uh, and I've got the fonts, I was like, oh, these guys are cool, which we're not. So it like, <laughs> kind of works that double level, and it goes through, and I think that's what's going to go through. I've got a uh, cat tree behind me. Is that What does that mean? <laughs> oh, um, rated P, man. Rated P. <laughs> uh, uh, shall we jump into the list, gentlemen? Yes, uh, what we're here for. We've got 36 games in there right now. Uh, to give you the update, the top five looking like number five, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, number four, Super Meat Boy, number three, Super Mario World, number two, Wii Sports, number one, The Mad, Mad Adventures of JC Denton, Deus Ex. Uh, the bottom three is Duck Hunt, Minesweeper, and The Order 1886. Still uh, still good, doing good down there. And uh, 
We got a lot of submissions. Thank you so much to everyone. Lies at tournamentoflies.com. If you have any uh, that you want to send in, we got a load in this week. A lot in during E3 as well, so we're going to get through some of these. Uh, but since we're in Brexit week, and since a couple of hours ago the English got kicked out of the uh, the the cup by Iceland, uh, I also asked on Twitter for a couple of uh, random, just one-offs. Just uh, you know, name me a game which was has like an English theme to it, or yeah. was English developed, or something like that. And uh, I got a couple, and I'm t- I'm just gonna like jump in on these. I'm just gonna like pluck one or two out. Maybe maybe just the one. We'll see. Uh, a lot of people already submitted worms, but we we already did that one, so uh, there's no point in jumping back in there. Uh, well, that was worms too, but you know we'll 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 keep on going. So the one I'm gonna pick out, and I guess it's like maybe maybe I'm maybe a, this is a game I played a lot of, and I think <laughs> it's a game everyone played a lot of. I think it's a game that everyone who bought a Dell PC played a lot of. Uh, this is sent in by Thomas Wynn. Uh, this is the, I'm going to guess, 1995? It might be 96. Oh, it's 97. Uh, Bullfrog game, Ooh. Theme Hospital. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, James, you've played it, have you? Of course. I think I think everyone's played Theme Hospital. Um, I even, I'm just suddenly thinking about it. And when you said Bullfrog, what came to my mind were Theme Park and Theme Hospital, yeah. both instant classics. And I was just trying to think of which one was first. I think theme park. Yeah, it was. But yeah. then, yeah, but then theme hospital came around, and it's oh man, I can I just picture these bloated heads already needing to get <laughs> sucked at air. Um, yeah, I mean, geez, it's that sort of genre game they slowly bring back, and the theme park one comes. They always have a hospital one, but there's something about theme hospital that got so right. Um, I think really, what made it so good was, it was fun, but it was kind of simple too. Like, 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 it gave you some sort of boundary, so sort of building the hospital. You, you didn't get too deep into, like, you know, doing numbers or, you know, running the, the cost of the hospital. It was just really about laying out the rooms. Yeah, and even and the that, fact that it was about laying out rooms, not not necessarily building. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they were kind of like, here's one space. Fill it up yeah, as exactly. best you can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dennis, have you played? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, we're, th- we're, three, we're three for three, then. It's killer. Uh, they gave it away free as well lately. I think it was um, on... You know EA Origin? Of yes. Course you do. Stupid question. Um, <laughs> but basically, they do that, uh, you know, on the house thing. And yeah, Team Oswald was the freebie on it, which is just, you know, okay, it's pretty much worthless at this stage, but, you know, what a game. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you Definitely can get it play. on. Uh, you can get it on Steam and. Oh, sorry, you can't get it on Steam. You can get it on Good, good Old Games and. Uh, for five ninety nine, and I guess on Origin as well. Then there is another game mm-hmm. called Hospital Tycoon, uh, of yes. course on Steam. But that's a whole other kettle of ballparks, as you always tell me, Dennis. Um, yeah, okay, sorry, James. I think I cut you off. What, what else were you thinking about it? What What are some of the memories you have of playing Theme Hospital back when you were a young and? Well, that nurse's voice would kick in all the time. Uh, <laughs> no, um, no. I, I again, I think it just goes back to it. Um, it's sort of caught in that sort of era where like a three like a lot of 3D games are still coming out and like mm. developing more, but it had a very cartoonish look, uh, and in that that isometric view, um, and it was it was just definitely again it's sort of like with the what comparing it again to sort of theme park which you can do, I'm just sort of thinking how like future reiterations of the game really to me it is that they overcomplicated them and like sort mm. of the beauty of theme theme hospital is at, like like as you said you're like set in a certain parameter for the hospital. You can build it any way you can, and this is probably these type of games are very much a precursor even for The Sims that later came out. Yeah, it's weird that like uh, you know they never made a sequel to Theme Hospital because yeah. it's it's so beloved. But you're right, like uh, you know you think about like Roller Coaster Tycoon, which is a game that people keep sending in and which just hasn't come up yet. Um, like our like theme park or theme park and then theme park world and all that sort of, and it kind of goes into what we were talking about worms a couple of weeks back where at a certain stage you're just iterating for the sake of iterating and you've, mm. you've made the game and then everything you add on is just a, like another layer of complexity that sometimes get it gets in the way like civilization has that problem as well where they try and like simplify in one way but also like you know innovate in another and theme hospital was like you're right like you know, you have to hire people, but you only have to hire like four types of people. I think it was like doctors, secretaries, janitors, and Probably nurses. nurses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then like there was only a couple of different types of rooms at the start. It was like GP, diagnosis, there was like the psychiatrist, and then they had like the bloody head thing. And then like 
even the buildings themselves, I remember they got bigger eventually and they'd give you like more VIPs and more, was it like emergency yeah. situations or something? Like they'd helicopter in people with like a shitload of problems and you had to, it was like an efficiency manager. It was like, yeah. the whole game was like how fast you could get people out of your hospital. Well, and then also shooting rats every now and again. And, and again, the, the core of it is, is still almost like, like it's almost like a strategy game where you like leveled up. Like you would go, like I feel like, in Sim City, you're there for the long haul. Even Theme Park, yeah, Theme right. Park sort of had it too. But really, more with this game, it was like you would you'd start off in a very simple hospital, like three wings, and by the end, you know, you'd move on to a new hospital and on and on and on. Um, so there, there was always like that sort of aspect to it. But yeah, um, yeah, a lot of fond memories. Maybe maybe it's a nostalgia, but I think I think it worked. And when it was on Origin, of course, I got it and played mm. it a little bit. I've yeah. gone back and played this one. I feel like. Uh, a number of times in the past like 10 years like i think i probably played it last year or the year before and again this is one of those games where i keep remembering and go oh yeah i want to play that again and it always ends up being like pretty cool there's a there's like an hd texture pack version as well which kind of because it wasn't it didn't play nice with 16 by 9 and shit like that but like somebody's tweaked it uh which i also installed um and, so it's and got I, that I, support like you i do remember for a while it had it had one of those weird things that as it was sort of like a windows 95 98 game uh, um when you got faster processors like <laughs> when it, like just i think they had to patch it on even on good old games because there's a weird thing because i did same same like you and again as there's only ever been one of them it's not like oh i'll go to theme hospital 2 and play it yeah everyone sort of goes back to this one and i remember trying to do it like about 15 years ago and it would just be the processor speed everyone was moving even if it's on like snail <laughs> but uh, I, I know they have since fixed it if people are tempted to pick it up but yeah i don't know it's it's, a, it's just a slice of just like simplicity and it just mm -hmm. kind of works dennis what are your thoughts what are your memories of theme hospital yeah i love it um and i would have broadly like a, such a similar opinion between theme hospital and theme park they operate like okay, the the similarities are obvious but i mean they just occupy the exact same space in my mind they're just like this beautiful simplicity um the time before like sims got not uh, when i say sims i mean simulations as opposed to the game sims um but right. before simulations got supremely convoluted like i was watching my brother play factorio and yeah I was just like wow this game is incredible but this game is like fucking batshit insane like and it's <laughs> like it is the furthest end of the spectrum and like theme park yeah theme hospital are the very opposite end and Everything in between is terrible, and Factorio and those two games are brilliant. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just love it. it. It nailed it. It nailed its its look at the time because, like, making it look any way differently would have just been stupid and just not captured the the comedy kind of side of things. Yeah, um, it's super yeah. funny. It's a lot of fun. It was 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 the theme possible on PS One as well. Did I play yeah, on PS1? Did yeah, I definitely. It? Um, so yeah, the only good thing to say about theme possible, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Um, uh, DOS game and PlayStation, the two uh, it was it was launched on. Um, like I, I did feel like my hospitals were always lacking about three hundred and fifty billion pounds extra a week. <laughs> yeah. That I just feel like a claw <laughs> back from some <laughs> foreign. I don't know bureaucracy, some Brussels maybe. Oh, who knows? I do know that I uh, closed. Oh, it would always close the door on certain minority patients that try to come to my hospital. Oh, and minority them. doctors. And yeah, minority doctors. Suddenly, suddenly, those when the the helicopter came, the doors were shut, and I failed I used those to, missions and worked. I out. used to love that when the and when you'd be hiring like the 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 doctors, it'd be like you know works well, you know ha loves playing chess or like mean to patients, smells slightly of cabbage. <laughs> I think was one of them. <laughs> um, and you're right, it's like you, the Factorio reference is is perfect because you're right, it's it is like that. You know, you're putting somebody into a system and hoping to get them out quicker, which is the one thing the theme park missed, which was you didn't really know what people were doing in your theme parks. You you knew they were like. You could kind of tell that, like, oh, the the chip thing sold this man's chips or fries or whatever. And, like, you know, you put the salt up and you'd get more out of the soda guy or whatever. Or, like, this many people went in the roller coaster. But you never got, like, an appreciation for any one person's, like, sort of how they felt in your system. And I think that was kind of a bit more satisfying for Theme Hospital. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the last games that Bullfrog put out. Uh, they, well, a couple oh. of years later, they, they, was, they had four years left, but... They definitely started winding down production. That was the same year that Dungeon Keeper came out. Uh, Populous the Beginning came out a year later. Uh, Theme Aquarium, which apparently was predominantly launched in Japan. I never yeah. saw this ever before uh, on the PlayStation. And then uh, eventually came to Windows in 2000. I just looked up screenshots for it. I'd never seen that before. Um, 
And then after that, they had Dungeon Keeper 2 in 99, Theme Park World and Sim... Uh, sorry, Theme Park World, a.k.a. Sim Theme Park, which was the weird 3D one with and yeah. Theme Park Incorporated. And then it all kind of fell off. And apparently the last game that they developed, which I did not know at all, was Quake 3 Revolution, which is a PlayStation 2 port of Quake 3 Arena, which is very weird. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get in the list. Looks like we are we have three fans of Theme Hospital here. Um, where are you guys thinking for this little bullfrog <sighs> adventure? Well, I'm going to use that old yardstick. We'll call it a yardstick um, of pod racer. It's better than pod racer. Yes. So we can, um, we can start there. Maybe? That's that's even lower. I, I was sitting and going, I sort of want to put up above papers, please. I, yeah, I I might go higher. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. I, I'm no, still looking ahead of them. I'm, yeah. I'm offering a early doors thing. Oh, do I? Can I abide putting it above paper space? Danny, where where are you looking? <laughs> uh, I really, really, really like Theme Hospital. I might like it maybe the most out of the three of us. I don't know. Um, I would, like, I am thinking of Theme Hospital in the top ten already. Yeah. But I could... But uh, but I really like. I don't know why. It's my favorite theme game. I prefer. I love theme park. I played theme park and the Amiga to death. I even played some of the three D ones. But uh, theme hospital for me is like, may, like maybe Bullfrog's best game because I also really like Dungeon Keeper and Populous. But like, and you know Syndicate. But I oh, Syndicate. Yeah. Good. So but but I still th- I don't know. I st- I think theme theme hospital might be my favorite Bullfrog game ever. I think I agree with you. I think the three for me, Syndicate actually brings it a bit as well, but mm. the top three for me are like probably Theme Hospital, then maybe Dungeon Keeper 2, and then mm. Theme Park. Or And those last two are interchangeable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I don't know. There's just something a warm... I, maybe it's just nostalgia. Maybe it's being a kid. Maybe it's playing with like family and stuff like that. And it just it being lighthearted and... You know, it's a bad hospital. Technically, people could be dying in it. And they just keep yeah. it easy. It's like, nah, your head's going to inflate. Nah, you're just vomiting all over the place. It's fine. They had remember um, that one they had what was it they had one that was uh it was like uh other personality or disorder or something and they'd come in dressed up as evil Knievel or something oh yeah, um, yeah yeah and the original one for that was it was called Elvitus and <laughs> they'd come in dressed up maybe what maybe they still come came dressed up as uh, Elvis, Elvis sure. yeah. Uh, but yeah they come up dressed up as Elvis but uh they actually got sued by his estate <laughs> and had to change it yeah it's mental um That's awesome. I so, that was like public domain or like fair game for yeah a par- and a parody is supposed to be fine but you know they come at you with money what are you going to do yeah. uh, Dennis what do you think where, where, the where similarities are you? to Paper Space are very obvious but I think yeah it's it is one of these ones we talked about the originality of Paper Space and stuff but as original as it is in its own kind of kind of what it, it went after hmm. there maybe isn't a Paper Space without a team hospital you know like it's one of the first like Things where you're doing what's considered like a mundane kind of <laughs> clerical job almost and uh a bureaucracy really among <laughs> yeah absolutely and they it is wonderful look i can't put it above yeah tell me your limit where's your hot where's your hot fourth. limit <laughs> yeah i don't know like i'm saying like i'm kind of joking saying third or fourth but i could i could like in a crazy world i'd put it first i think right now if i was asked to play it or dsx i'd, I'd probably be loading up uh the hospital <laughs> but i don't think you can make a reasonable argument for putting number one. I think a good think question top is... Top five is definitely not out of sight. Yeah. yeah. Is this it, the part where we start uh, burying our mistake or what, what appears to be a public debate in Wii U? We started Wii Sports. <laughs> so we surely put as much distance between that and number two. I don't know if it's that high. I'm looking at, yeah, where, I'm, where I'm looking at the moment actually is Worms. a game that came out... Exactly. A game that came out around the same era in Worms. Mm. Um, and I think Theme Hospital is better than Worms. See, see, for me, what's what, and it's a fault of my own where uh, why I chose Papers Please. I, I mm. agree with you. I saw Worms and like this is in the same boat. I saw the games above it and I was like, it's probably not as good as those. Um, and then I saw everything that's underneath it and it's like Mario Crash Bandicoot, Strikers Charge. The other three are very much like games I don't have that much knowledge on. You know, Sunset Overdrive, Gears of War, and uh, Ratchet and Clank Two are like two games that you guys played, and then the other one is like Gears of War that you guys love. So I was like, eh. I, I, so I, I purposely kind of tiptoed and went to, you know, I guess papers please around ten or eleven. But again, I could easily see 
it's it's never going to be in the long term a top five game for me but as the list stands right now it's definitely top 10 top you know could be beneath worms dennis what do you think which side of worms you edge danny i could go by this i i personally oh i don't know fuck um yeah i could go either side of worms i think it's better than worms but and it's so. It's better not, you don't think it's better than Uncharted Two? I don't. Mm. It's see, that's like that's the point where you're like, God, this list is so stupid. <laughs> it's like, no. how do you compare <laughs> Uncharted Two and Theme Hospital? I could because um, I'm, I'm I'm thinking like what Uncharted Two did, and I mean like yeah, I, again, if you probably again because I've played it less recently. If you asked me if I was going to play Uncharted Two or Theme Hospital, I'd pick Theme Hospital. But there is an element of what Uncharted Two does well as games and and other games have done the same way but i just feel the fun and the story and the gameplay that i'm sure to so it does like in in a way yeah in a way i feel like worms and theme hospital are weird games because they're almost like the start and end of a game like this the worms afterwards i mean worms 3d was 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 cool a lot of people don't like it but like that was kind of an evolution but like worms ended up just being worms forever right and theme hospital is only one game and then it's mm. like done but then i guess like if you were to like break out the hospital into its component parts it's probably like a really basic loop like gameplay wise it's probably really basic it's all you're doing is like up you know d- increasingly difficult amounts of people coming in and all you're doing is like doing the extra rooms and making sure you don't lose money like it's not the most complicated game in the world um so i kind of get that it's not maybe had a sequel or whatever mm. but i don't know so that yeah, in its like favor, yeah, it's like in its favor, it's super basic and really interesting, and it's like it's it's style and it's music and all that sort of stuff. It's comedy is definitely the the reason why we still love it today. But you know, because uh, you know, a, a I feel like a, a game that didn't look as good or, or sound as good or or play as sort of lightly wouldn't have wouldn't have been as fondly remembered. Uh, but then it also did those things and it was great. And it's like a game that like my sister played a load of and like mm. like loads of people played a load of. So. I don't know. I could. I would be fine with it going either side of Worms. I think it's better it's, than Ratchet and Mario Strikers and. Yeah, games that I love as well. But mm. I would. Yeah, I'd be comfortable enough above Worms. I think. I think. I think it's yep. better. Than worms. And I love Worms. Hmm. I, I, but I think I, if you want I agree. To I, it, kind of a, yeah, ahead. especially no, the no. first Worms, because we're talking about yeah. Worms one. I think mm. Theme Hospital is better. Yeah, I think I think Worms as for what it did. It only got better with time, and there's only one team hospital. <laughs> one team hospital. That's very English of you, actually. There's good job. One team hospital. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, we we locked in. Good. Six Great. Steps. There you go. Number six, team hospital. Didn't quite break into the top five, but it's a uh, yeah, definitely on the top end of our list of thirty-seven games here on a tournament. A tournament. A tournament of lies. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the the theme here. We have a lot of emails, but I'm I'm liking some of these suggestions that people have sent in. Uh, maybe we can knock this one out a little bit faster. I don't know. Actually, you know okay. what? I'm gonna ask. I, I I'm gonna do something I've never done on this. Is I'm gonna ask you guys some questions about games, and then I'm going to either drop the game in based on it or retract it completely, and tell you what it was. Is that okay, a silly okay. idea? Okay. How many of you guys uh, bought a Wii U at launch and played all the launch games? <laughs> Sorry, Wii U? Played. Yeah. No. Uh, played I... some. <laughs> Definitely bought one. Uh, okay, I'm going to pass over that one. <laughs> Can is you... it an Excite Truck or is it... Can you guess what I'm talking about? No? Uh, no. I'm going oh. to say, say it was Zombie U. Yes, it was. I have not played. It is on my list. <laughs> oh, Wii U. It is, it, is also, it is also on PC as Zombie it it's is. And PS4 as well, I think. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, Ubisoft Montpellier's ooh, game. Let's, God. Let's, let's keep walking. Oh, let's oh, pret- actually, let's pretend sorry. we didn't see. No, no, no. Time out, time out. <laughs> that is a perfect game to put on the that purgatory the list that's empty. That is the ultimate purgatory game. <laughs> that we is... all own several copies of it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Steam okay. sale on right now. Oh, I hate when it's... I, it's already in i've typed it in <laughs> zombie you okay okay yes. zombie you and purgatory of lies needed a reason to play it yeah that's me too that's the that's the quickest because like we home and however like i mentioned on the show i just pulled that one off twitter that's the quickest one we've ever got on the purgatory of lies <laughs> uh, okay i'm gonna do this one but only if we can knock it out in five minutes okay okay because i'm not really sure if we have much to say about this game at all it is very, very English. It comes from perhaps one of the 
most successful British developers of all time. Probably the most successful British developer ever. Um, certainly uh, in operation right now. Uh, it was made in 1999. It is a top-down either driving game or violence oh, okay. game, depending on which angle you come from it. It is the, uh, the sequel, as it were, to Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto London 1969. I was I was way off I was way off with my uh, micro machines guess. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, that would have been good. Although I would not say that it was a Team Seventeen. Uh, I think made so. That. Or, My, yeah, maybe. Uh, I, or I don't micro, think so. Though. Micro Pros. I forget. I feel like that one's been shuffled around a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Hasbro owns it now. Um. Yeah. But, yes, uh, but yeah, we're not London. talking about that. Sorry, GTA London. Who's played GTA London? I have. It's been a while. So here's the funny thing. <laughs> I don't think I've played this GTA. Huh? I've played the Game Boy GTA London. Oh right. And I think it's called 1960 something. Else. You're right. You're right. You're right. They did. They called. They made a separate one. I remember. So I was Code yeah. Ma- Code Masters on Micro Machines, by the way, as well. But I have played. Like it was essentially a reskinning. Of mm. Kind of thought it had the exact same play uh, style. So okay, I can't tell too much about it, but. I, yeah. I know. I like that. And 61 is much of a muchness, so... Yeah, so what happened was, I think there was two of these. I think it was Mission Pack 1 was, like, 1969, and Mission Pack 2 was 1961. Okay. I think is what happened. I'm trying to remember, actually, because you're right. I remember there being a boxed copy of one of them. I think it was just 1961. But, yeah, GTA London 1961 is the... Sorry, 1969 is the box one. Uh, is the second GTA London game, which were two expansion facts to the original GTA game. GTA London 1961 requires both the original game and the first expansion pack, GTA oh, 1969. Wow. So I guess that's something different. So you you played the GBA version. I believe I did, but now that I'm looking at this, I'm not, I'm not finding it very easily. But yeah, I feel like I played GTA London on the Game Boy Color or Advance, wow. I guess. I guess it must have been Advance. <laughs> God damn. Game Boy I feel Club. like it was a larger cartridge. God, I wish I had, you know, some sort of knowledge. Of what I'm talking about. <laughs> so there was a there was a Game Boy Advance version of Grand Theft Auto. It came out in two thousand and four. Is that right? No, well then it's not that. Weird. Way earlier than that. I was a kid. I wonder if there was a. Yeah, six uh, Grand Theft. All right, I don't know. Um. Anyway, that was, uh, I mean, the original GTA came in in 1997. GTA 2 didn't come out until 1999, so uh, Grand Theft Auto London, London was actually at the same year. God, that's mental as GTA 2. It kind of feels like a reskin of GTA 1 as well. Um, it, it, it very much is, though, from what I remember. Like, uh, which which one? London oh, or so, 2? London, sorry. Yeah, totally. I mean, it was like, what is it? It's like your brown bread when you died. <laughs> it was all Cockney rhyming slang. Instead you, of Harry Krishnas, they had some other thing. You drove on the other side of the road, which is like I guess the big <laughs> thing that they code in. Um, and uh, they had the Austin awesome Powers mobile. It was definitely a yes. car, the Union Jack car you can drive around on. And again, it just seems a lot of Italian job references as well. Right. I remember like a lot of minis and a lot of other stuff. Um, it was, um, it's G- it was GTA. I, no, I just sort of enjoy it. Um, th- with the top down, for the for the level I played of the top down GTA games, I'm sure people who played them a lot, learned the maps off like no problem. But to right. me, when you're sort of like limited in playing at only a certain amount, you, you recognize some places, but then that it all gets lost in the sort of shuffle. Yeah, I remember. Anyway. So apparently, GTA 1961 was a free expansion pack as long as you bought 1969. So um, I think I think the 69 was a boxed copy, and the other one was a was just like a, a, a freebie, like a DLC pack, basically for free on top of that. Uh, but you're right. You worked for you worked for the Crisp Twins, which were a Parody of the craze, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, the East London gangsters. Um, there was thirty new vehicles, thirty nine new missions. Um, uh, yeah, and it was all take place in that one map for for London. Uh, I remember it being really short. I remember playing it a bit and being like, "Ah, oh, yeah, it's fine." Like GTA One was kind of cool. I prefer GTA One because it was like being in America was cool, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like New York and fucking LA and. And I guess uh, it was Miami, Florida, right? It? Yeah. yeah, it was Vice City, San Andreas, and Liberty were the, the three. Yeah, and it was kind of like, yeah, I preferred the cars and, and all that shit as well. So I wasn't like too hot on London. And and I agree. I think I just remember like a friend getting it and playing it like on the PlayStation 1 and um, 
so again, I, was, I think it was like you, I was like, oh, that's cool. There's another re reiteration that they've done this, but it didn't really do anything new, if you get me. It just felt like yeah. extra missions. And then, then the same way when 2 came out, I felt like it revolutionized a lot of stuff that they haven't even really touched on since. Or yeah. Gotten right. Um, but yeah, totally. like it was a completely different mood, different style. Everything was very cool with 2. Yeah, and that's like, and the thing about 1 was that like, 1 was a game that was pretty basic in what it was doing, but like a lot of the reason it was cool was because of the style, because of like yeah. the music and the, the, the setting and the sort of, I don't know, just like the sort of, the f I really like the fact that it felt very like metropolitan and New Yorky. Like you were this yeah. like helicopter looking down on a city, and it was like all this shit happening and cars everywhere. And I don't know. I like the I like the American aesthetic so much more than this sort of Austin Powers ass sort of. And I had no London affinity back then either. I didn't particularly yeah. care, you know. Like now, I'd probably like to play it a bit more because I lived there for a while. But like, it was like yeah, it was all right. Yeah, extra if machines. They, if they brought out a GTA Five London. But that'd be awesome. That, the, that'd actually they, be pretty cool. They did. It was called the Getaway. Oh, what? did they make the Getaway? <laughs> they, no, they yeah. didn't make the Getaway. Okay, okay. Sorry, I was going to say. I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah. I, I don't know. It's yeah, it's definitely one of those things. Again, but even like GTA One, I feel like even just if you think how that game starts in Liberty City, and you're just a man who's there, and phones are ringing, and it's either a mission straight away, or if you want, ignore the phones, start punching people, drive around, <laughs> uh, and that sort of freedom, that like you know that sandboxiness to it, really just. Uh, really was an interesting way to be a game and i feel like london was just, again it was it was it was a extra pap i guess it, this is almost while they did sell it as like a standalone thing and you can get it that way hmm. um it'd be like getting quake mission packs or like right. kind of conquer like add on and this mission packs and be like what do you think of this is a new map yeah my, and gta 1 was modded so much as well that like it was almost like they were just trying to sell something that was because like the, the gta cars thing i think it was called that like expansion that like thing you could plug into gta to like import cars and maps and stuff um and they did the online shit as well on gta one which is really popular and like my brother's college for some reason in trinity they used to all play uh gta online uh, anyway yeah so i so i guess there was nothing new about that when you played london it was like you knew all that all the interesting shit about gta you'd already played at that stage and uh, it was like a reskin so yeah two things uh, i think uh firstly i think i made up this being <laughs> on the game boy i think i just made that up Maybe you, just, maybe you just played GTA on the Game Boy. Possibly, and I just superimposed one on it. Um, mm. I was, back then, I would have been a real real hardline Euro file. And I <laughs> would have been really excited if I had you know, such a camaraderie with my London friends, but not anymore. Not anymore. No. And second one, you said five minutes. We're gone past that, so let's rate <laughs> this. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. good point. Let's rate it. Uh... Uh, okay, this time everyone just find a number where you think it should be and then we'll all say it, okay? Okay, excellent. On the count of three and we just shout it out. Yeah, just give us a minute to actually think first, though. Okay. I'm trying, okay. To, th I'm oh, trying to think. Is, we do have to shout over each other, right? Yes, yep. yeah, it's great podcast um, uh, <laughs> vibe if you go for that. Uh, okay, um, all right, okay. <laughs> all, okay, all at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Do you think? All right. This is gonna be interesting to see how close we are. So uh, it'll be it'll be three, two, one, and then you say the number. So it'll yeah. be like three, two, one, number. Okay. 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 Here we go. Three, two, one, twenty nine. Thirty six. Two twenty nines. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's that's. There's no comeback from that. Uh, what did GTA you say? Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. I I kind of didn't want to put above duck hunt, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> What you did? <laughs> yeah, like, no, I, I put it under. It would have been above Minesweeper. Now it okay. probably doesn't need to go that low. I was just sort of thinking, I was like Hellgate Lunge and <laughs> Witcher, Unreal Two. Oh, I feel so bad for the Witcher. I need to. We did the. I, I fucking Witcher, man. I think I'm gonna pick it up in the Steam sale and play it. And you know what? I, Johnny Carson. I, I, it. I, I the Witcher's the type of game where I think like I kind of look at it and go that should be higher, but I know if I go play it for ten hours, it's fucking staying where it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going uh, down. So where where are we putting this? We got two twenty nines. Twenty nine, oh. I guess it goes there. Yeah, twenty nine, like no question. Okay, fair enough. It's there. <laughs> People are gonna be like, "You're not taking this seriously anymore." The <laughs> sanctity of the list, but there it is. It's not. It's better than Excite Bike. It's not as good as Super Hexagon. GTA London, nineteen sixty nine. Okay, I think that's the end of our Brexit special. I think I'm gonna start d dipping into the actual list. Um, here is an interesting set of God. There's so many interesting games here. Hmm. Actually, while you're while I'm doing this, what have you been playing uh, at the moment, Dennis? What do you What have you been up to for the past couple of weeks? Uh, lots of Overwatch. Hmm. Lots and lots of Overwatch. A little bit of 
Uh, that game with bros in the name. That isn't Super Smash Bros. Bro Force? Bro Force. Bro Force. Oh, really? I was it. Yeah, a bit of that. The new Pez as well, I'll tell you. Uh, oh. Bro Force, I think, is fun. It's actually pretty charming. And just kind of mindless, kind of rampaging, hmm. but fun platforming. Um, the new Pez, which I did mention on our last podcast, I think I just picked it up, playing it here and there, dipping in there, because I'm getting that Euro fever from the yeah. football, so I'll, I'll jump in and play a little game here and there. Uh, and it's it's great. It's way better than any of the people I've played in a good, good long time. Just much more fun. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, yeah, they, they, they did a great job. Uh, little bits of, you know, I suppose that for me at the moment, just the big three kind of endless competitive multiplayer. So I already mentioned Overwatch, still Rocket League. Dota. Yeah. That's my life. Yes. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of Rayman Legends uh, with oh, Lindsay cool. here, actually, which is good because okay. you can do two cool. player on, on play, uh, play, Actually, no, it's not PlayStation 4. It's on PlayStation Now, I think, uh, which oh, is wow. the the downloadable, the, the, the streaming game service, which uh, is mm-hmm. actually pretty cool. She got way sucked into Tokyo Jungle on that a couple of months back. What a game. Yeah. What a game. That, I, that game is a fucking real rabbit hole. It's also impossible co op. It's like the hardest co-op game ever. The difficulty mm. goes up by like four. It's insane. Uh, anyway, I have a list here. It's okay. a good list. It's a weird list. I'm not sure if we have them all, but it might be the best justified list we've ever had. Uh, yeah. This one is from Dylan Singfield. Wonderful name. Uh, he says of his list, These are all video games my Nana plays on her Wii or phone. She's a scouser who was a teen at the height of Beatlemania, so that explains the last one. Her and my granddad playing plastic instruments is one of the hilarious, most hilarious things I have yeah. ever seen. Actually, I'm going to start with the last one then, which is the one I thought that maybe none of us had plays. Uh, this is Harmonix's sort of throw into Beatlemania. This is Rock Band Beatles Edition, uh, which of course came out on the Xbox 360. Have any of you guys played this one? Yeah, but like, so little. So like, I... If, if your grandmother was in Beatles Mania, I was in like Rock Band Mania, where I was just buying any Rock Band and or Guitar <laughs> Hero game that would come out, including DJ Hero, like Double Dex Edition and stuff. <laughs> I, I played like six minutes, I say, of DJ Hero. Um, yeah, but like Rock Band Beatles was... Can I can I ask you, first of all, of the Rock Bands that you were talking about, have you played... Have you Did you buy Green Day Rock Band? No. Did you buy... The ACDC thing was that rock band yes. or Guitar Hero? That was rock band. Guitar Hero. Or was that? I don't know. Like they're they're just a muddle for me. <laughs> yeah. But Beatles one is pretty easy to remember because I bought the band set, so I had all the. Band oh, set, but it's, yeah. Like, but, uh, like like Paul's bass and stuff, or like HMV. Yeah. My local HMV at the time. Uh, somebody on this podcast used to work there. Um, <laughs> they basically <laughs> had so many of these, and they were yeah. gigantic. And they I took up a lot of room. The, the whole band set for like. Euro or something. Really? Like oh, that's great. Yeah, Can I tell you, when I first went to work there, they had four copies of Richard Garriott's Tabula Rasa still for sale, even though it had been shut fucking down. <laughs> they were still wow. selling it. <laughs> it was like the first thing I did on day one was like, we have to take these off the shelves. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> might buy this. It was a special edition. It was like $80. Um, cool. So you played it. That's cool. I, I only played a little bit of it. Uh, uh, funnily enough, now that you mention it, I totally forgot about this. I played it in work. We had one of them in the cafeteria up in HMV that was set up because it was one of the things that like the people who give a shit about music actually wanted to play it as well. Um, and yeah, I guess you could tell us maybe a bit about this, Dennis. The the one thing I remember about this is that they did they went to incredible detail to actually tell a really interesting story. It had like amazing cutscenes and amazing videos and stuff like that, which like the other ones didn't have. They were just like song packs basically. Yeah. So that's uh see this is where it's going to become unfair because i haven't like i haven't played through the entire story mode right like so so for me it's it is just a, a gigantic song pack a very well put together song pack of uh like a timeless band but, yeah uh yeah I, I, like i played bits of it and yes they they did a job on it and you know they had they attacked on at this point it was i Really, uh, it was a good bit after Rock Band 2 and they had already done sort of story modes but kind of not really just kind of like hey here's kind of something to go in between a song here and there but they did try to actually weave a a story for the Beatles for yeah. their legacy but um, yeah I think again I've used the word a few times with certain genres like say World War 1 shooter fatigue but we definitely had like musical instrument game fatigue mm. at this point uh it, it's unfortunate for it and it was 
probably the most logical single band release of one of these games obviously because their back catalog is gigantic yeah everybody knows it and it kind of brings in that karaoke vibe where you can pretty much sing all the words to every song but yeah like i think it would be pretty low on my list of rock band games mm. so which kind of sucks because it's very bad because the list justification as you mentioned is just phenomenally fantastic yeah uh james what about you you've touched it at all unfortunately not i was waiting for the pete best dlc and it never came <laughs> uh, no uh no by this stage like i played that when like guitar hero came out i was on on it uh when rock band came out i was kind of like eh. and by this stage i remember seeing this and i did notice that they had like don't i didn't realize about the story mode at all that's kind of cool mm. um but it's definitely i knew for like when you're doing the songs or you know from what i'd seen people playing it uh the performances that they did something interesting like especially like around you know they're in the sergeant pepper gear and yeah like you know everything they suddenly a cutscene and they're like floating and just doing interesting stuff rather than like you know it's the old school rock band on a stage and totally yeah just yeah. tracks it was uh, almost so like some sort of like like it was almost like a journey through like the eras of Beatlemania rather yeah. than necessarily you playing as the band wasn't it yeah 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 and uh and so like i mean i i thought it was beautiful for what it was but i think i was very much like i think uh yeah, peripheral music tab whatever whatever the genre is i was mm. over by that stage so all right where do we where do we think we should put this one then folks i mean it doesn't sound like it's lighting anyone on fire i mean it seems like the type of game that is like perfect for certain people but if you're mm -hmm. gonna put it on like a list of of of, of the, the best games ever it, it can't necessarily you know you need to be very much into you needed to not have been tired of playing rock band games and also have been a massive Beatles fan or like a medium Beatles fan to, to have enjoyed it. So It's a bit pigeonholy. Like where Wii Sports is number two on our list, not just on the back of being accessible, but being like brilliant and accessible. Mm. Like I think it's not inconceivable that rock band, the best of rock band, maybe rock band three and guitar hero, or sorry, excuse me, rock band two and maybe guitar hero three, mm. you know, the maybe the best games in the series, arguably. Uh, would be up in that kind of area on our list. Uh, I'm not saying that they would be, but it's hard to make the same argument for this just because it's like, for instance, my girlfriend just fucking hates the Beatles. It's right. fucking insanity. I know it's insanity. I, I, I know. I get that. I'm sorry. Did you, everybody, did, did, you, did you hide the fact that you're going to see Paul McCartney in about two days from her? No, or? no, no. no. <laughs> and just the thing, like, that's the funny thing about this, though, because I'm going to listen to Paul McCartney play for about nine hours or whatever he'll play for. Sir. And then... I'm going to probably want to play this game because I'm just going to be <laughs> kind of riding the, the wave of Paul McCartney's greatest man. I just saw a living legend. So, I don't know. Uh, definitely not really making a point. I'd say <laughs> mid-table. Mid yeah, I, I think that's safe. I mean, I also have a, a general rule. Uh, like, I'm a very karmic guy. And one thing I know is you never <laughs> fuck with the Beatles. Like, it's, it's bad juju to fuck with the Beatles. So I don't want to put them, like, near the end. And I don't. I mean, again, this this was very much like a last ditch. Okay, what can we do? Who can we buy? How can we make money off these things? Because I'm sure they all realized they're on the down decline. But in fairness, they put in the effort on this. One. Yes, no, like, not the game was bad. I guess it wasn't the no, yeah, ACDC okay. one was a fucking cash grab. Let me tell you that. Yeah, it was okay. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Like, if the well, it was the music was good, band, but it was terrible. Yeah, Brown been a rock band for a year or two when this came out. I think everybody would have snapped it up, played it loads. Problem is, I had probably bought three or four music based games in the last <laughs> six months before or something like that and it's just like no i'm never gonna actually play this um but if somebody plunked me down with a bunch of plastic controllers in an hour yeah, i'll play i I'll will play. i will say this as well if, if we if you were to just be like i'm setting up a rock band we're gonna play and you're like here is my collection of all the rock band guitar hero games mm. i would probably go for the beatles one first just off the back of it being the beatles jesus lads we're voting against each other here yeah, i know <laughs> Uh, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one. Uh, where are we thinking? Somewhere in between, like, like, like nineteen and and thirty. Is it in that sort of range? Yeah. yeah. So between yeah. Earth Earthworm Jim and Excite Bike, I'm guessing it's higher than. I'm, it's probably like more so between nineteen and twenty five or somewhere there. Is it? Or maybe yeah. higher than nineteen? Like, what what are you thinking? No, no, not higher. And I think maybe. I know we've used it, unfortunately, as kind of a truncation point to <laughs> City of Heroes, but uh, I don't feel like... It's not so much that I want to put it above City of Heroes, it's that I don't want to put it above Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay. 
Um, so that's where my life for me, or at least that's kind of Oof. where I'm feeling. This is hard. I, I can feel I can feel the rage on this one already because it's so yeah. like if you're a big Beatles fan, this game is going up. Yeah. Yeah. The game is going up there, and I'm ju I'm just not that fan either. Like I I appreciate their music, but I it's I don't ever fucking listen to it ever. Like hmm. it's just not it's not for me. I I listened to Magical Mystery Tour just today driving in the road. So wh where do you, where do you think then? No, I, I think um I don't think it goes higher than twenty. I think I think twenty five is a fair place to put it. Um, well, because again, like, what's above? I mean, outside of Donkey Kong Co too, what's above it is like sequels and yeah, like from yeah. the middle things. So I think twenty, I'd put it above Spyro personally. No, but it wasn't Diddy Kong. <laughs> Diddy think, Kong's Quest just the old. Well. Wasn't Diddy Kong's Quest just the also ran of Diddy Kong? Yeah, yeah. I think I think country. we're. In, I think this is this is definitely like if we were like splitting up lists. This is definitely <laughs> friggin' sequel country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I, I enjoyed Spec Ops and it had some had a pretty interesting ending in particular, but uh Can't believe we're comparing yeah. Spec Ops and <laughs> fucking Beatles rock band. That's that's the teaser on iTunes. Sooner. Yeah, that's the <laughs> teaser be like, what does Paul McCartney and Spec Ops the Lion have in common? You just Okay, tune I in. can I don't think I can go above Spyro, but I can go behind Spyro and above Call of Duty too. Do that. If we must. If we must. Must we? <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, I'm totally miffed on this one. It's like in my head, I'm like, it's probably it's better than Sears. It's probably better than Spec Ops. Like in fairness, because it is like it is a fucking rock band game. We don't have any rock band games on this. I know yeah. other ones will go higher, but they are brilliant. Um, yeah, I see it in the. I can see it in the. We are, we are in like tired sequel country. So you're right. It's in good fucking company here. I don't think it goes higher than Spyro. Then in that regard, because, okay, because it's like. It is just another sequel, even if it is like its own thing, and it did a good job of it. Hmm. So, yeah, where do we think? Where do we think in the sort of twenty in the Call of Duty Saints Row the Third Spec Ops the Line Shuffle? I mean, it could fucking go anywhere there. I want to. I want to put up above Call of Duty too. But uh, okay, I'll you know what? Uh, I could yeah. see that because at the very least, if they were, if they were making a Beatles rock band game, they made the best Beatles rock band game they could have made. Yeah, like. I don't think I don't think we're criticizing this game for not being good at what yeah. it is. I, I think the timing's off. I think that's it. I think just where like again, if this came, if they, if they release Rock Band and then straight away they're like, we're doing Rock Band Beatles. Hmm. I think this would have been like holy shit. Like Important. how do you go higher? Um, and I wonder if it is like again, like looking back and all the stuff. Will this be the one to grab? Uh, the saying that when I'm back, I'm definitely bringing some four locos into DJ DJ Hero. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> love DJ Hero is great. I love DJ Hero. I, I think it's been I, broken it out. Good. I think we're gonna play some of that. Um, I also just hope that when you go to Rock World, your Dennis, that Paul McCartney comes out, looks across <laughs> the crowd, you two make eye contact, and he just like kind of like slightly sneers and goes, "Yeah, I'm only doing the wing song tonight." <laughs> they do a single Beatles song, and then the crowd's all angry, and they just sort of like they pick up on the fact that you two had that moment, and then like all know it's you. Jesus, like, a lot in, in one look. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, like, like that. You made a really good point there, though. Like if this maybe was the, like if this kind of happened to a fall at a time where it was my most played rock band, like I don't know how high I could have put it, but high it could have right, been yeah. conceivably anywhere. Yeah. But um, it wasn't. So yeah, that wasn't for are. me either. So yeah. So what do we think? Twenty one. Twenty one. I think it's fair. It's like it's like those games around it though. None of like we're being a bit harsh on them. They're none of these games are dross. We actually quite mm. enjoyed them. I think Spec yeah. Ops the Line is in a strange way one that I think we all had a little bit of enjoyment from. Mm. Um, you know, you said Donkey Kong Country two is a bit of an also ran. It's an also ran a fantastic series. Yeah, yeah. So. No, that's that's a very good point to bring up. Yeah, I think all of these games are. Well, actually, Saints Row the Third is pretty solid, and Call of Duty Two is pretty good. I I feel like yeah, a lot of people prefer good. Call of Duty Two than than we did, but all right, there it goes. Twenty one feels Rock Band sitting pretty almost directly in the middle of our list of thirty nine games. We have two more to get done today. Two more from Mister Dylan Singfield's list. These are w this is a wonderful list. Let me tell you that. So that okay. this is all video games that his Nana plays, his Scouser and Nana. Um, Dennis is a Liverpool fan. I'm sure you can appreciate a Scouser mm -hmm. Nana. Uh, I know. I know Wayne Rooney appreciates a Scouser Nana. Um, okay. <laughs> Rock band Beatles edition. <laughs> Do you get that reference? 
yeah yeah all right okay but, like we don't need to go down that road <laughs> <laughs> um so there's two more and i'm not sure which order to do them in because they're both brilliant i'm gonna i'm gonna go for the the one that he he stuck in second there actually um which is on the other side of the spectrum for this that he talked about uh, that she played on her Wii and on her phone. Uh, Rock Band, obviously, on the Wii. One on her phone. It's Candy Crush Saga. But I've played far too much. Candy oh, you Crush have? In my time. Oh, absolutely. I have played zero of Candy Crush Saga. James, you are the deciding factor in whether this is purgatory or not. I have played zero of Candy Crush Saga. Okay. Uh, because I was, like, I was very much just like... A with all, all these type of things, temper on all the rest. Um, first, well, sorry. First of all, I actually, funny enough, don't really play games on my phone. I just mm, it, that's I about really to change. I, uh, I guess so. <laughs> um, and it just, I, I know I've played games like it, but not this one. So let's purgatory it. Okay. Um, okay. This is the biggest game from King, the, uh, the recently acquired company that Activision Blizzard just picked up for some billions amounts of pounds. Um, uh, it's available on iOS, Android, Windows Phone. It's also available on Facebook and Windows 10, James, if you want to pick it up on either of them. Uh, yes, and we invite everyone else to play as well and let us know what you think of Candy Crush Saga. Lies at uh, and we'll, we'll get it on the list. Uh, and her last game then. Um, Nana Singfield or Nana whatever her surname is uh, we had Rock Band Speedle Edition we had Candy Crush Saga her third game is a Wii game I say the word game with a little okay. bit of a caveat Okay. it's a game that we sold a lot of in HMV when I was working there Dennis uh, but it suffered from a very similar problem of taking up quite a lot of shelf space uh, sa uh, good for us though that unlike Rock Band these things sold like fucking hot cakes the can Christmas that I was we, working there can we try and guess it? You can, try, you, you can try and guess it if you want peripheral we, we party oh no but your, 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 fir your first word is on the right way on the, in the right mm. way we, we play? no oh <laughs> Dennis has it why can't I think of the name of it? We fit. Yay! Oh, shit. There oh, we God. go. I can't believe I blanked that. Yeah, there, I know. It's hard to imagine we not remembering uh, We Fit, the game that came out in 2008. It's still it's still going strong, in fact, I think, on the Wii U. I think they I added, like, a tracker, and then your old Wii balance board could still work on the Wii U. Yeah, they added... Yeah, I forgot. It's We Fit for Wii U. It's like a separate thing, isn't it? It's like a... You yeah, can, it's like an app or something, isn't it? Mm. Pretty much, yeah. and then they added like a heartbeat monitor. That I think what they ended up doing for this one was like you could get the balance board with all the new stuff, but like the new peripheral was like a heartbeat tracker or heart rate tracker. What was um, the what was the name of the the vitality sensor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never came. The quality of life and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, this is kind of in the same vein as like Dr. Karashima. Um, uh, brain training. Brain yeah. training. Uh, may, mm. Yeah, may he rest in peace, actually. That guy died very recently, the the, the mm. guy that's based on. I don't think that's necessarily his name. Maybe it is. Um, but yeah, a couple of months ago he died. Um, yeah, that same sort of vein of like the, like you were saying, Dennis, the sort of quality of life aspect of the Wii. Uh, so when I was working at, at um, HMV, these things, we could not keep them on the shelves. They were fucking flying out the door. And it was being sold predominantly to like sort of the i would say 25 to 40 female bracket uh was consistently like you could tell when people came up when there was uh, women in the game section who were like the, of that age sort of looking on their knees underneath where the where all the, like the peripherals went you were like oh we know what this is it was sold a crazy <laughs> amount um uh, the whole way through that year actually it came out in like spring and the whole way to christmas we were trying to get stock in um yeah, so I guess that's uh, that's. Uh, have any of you guys have any experience playing it? I played a oh, little I, bit of it. I own one. You want to as well? Yeah. Yeah. Still do. Uh, um, James, you go first. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, honestly, for for a while, it's uh, it. I mean, I guess to a degree, it works if you stick with it and go with it. But no, I loved yeah. it. I picked it up, and it was probably the start of like getting fit or like doing anything like that getting in a program, uh, the technology was incredibly smart to go with it on the balance board itself, like for what it picked up. Um, I mean, technically the balance board could be used with other games. They, they worked in to work with Punch Out and a few others that like it would notice where you're standing and sort of do shuffling and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, no, I think I think for what it did, like, I mean, I think the, the concept behind it um, was very strong. I think it's another one of those Nintendo things where 
I don't. I honestly think they fall backwards into hits every now and again. And mm-hmm. I think that was another one. They thought of this idea, and I'm sure it's more the Japanese thing of like being fit and you know working at your office and all that type of deal. Um, and uh, it was m- two degree mini games that would cause you to do squats or like you know leg raises and then a lot of yoga. Um, right. Yeah. And I think that concept uh, is. I mean, I think it even brought yoga was already popular and will always have an audience, but I think it would even broaden that further. Hmm. Uh, just sort of getting a sense of just, you know, I guess earning achievement to be able to track your progress in sort of a fun little game. Yeah, the, like gamification of health or whatever. It's yeah. Kind of, like nowadays, we sort of it's 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 you know it's your Fitbit, it's your Apple Watch. You know, my my uh, better half like uses her Apple Watch all the time to lead like how many steps she's taken today and like how you know how many calories burn and stuff like that. And I remember, like, being in college around then um, and people talking about, like, oh, they're going to, like, stick video games into gyms and they'll figure it out that way. Yeah. And that stuff's never really happened, but it's kind of appeared more, I guess, on wearables and that whole technology. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this was definitely one of, like, one of the first... Like, this was probably the... It, it may actually, like, even... Maybe Fitbit has, like, gone past it, but it may be, like, one of the most successful pieces of fitness hardware ever made. Yeah. This and the thigh master are probably like the two that like right. go through. <laughs> yeah. But um, but honestly, even playing it like, I'm I'm sort of missing the one that's sticking out to me. I can't remember a lot of the mini games, but I remember there's like a ski jump one where the whole thing is yes. like, to, like squat and then just like do the whole stuff. And like it was kind of fun. it was fun to do it again. It was like like for what the we did and I'll, I will preface this early. Maybe I'm wrong, but don't worry, people listening. Five minutes in line, we're not putting in this number three behind. <laughs> but um, it I did a lot. Know. Like I mean, it did a lot of stuff right. Um, and it did, uh, yeah, for like for what it needed to achieve, um, it did make exercise fun. And I think that is like the biggest thing to overcome with a lot of people mm. trying to get in shape or trying to do something or to like, you know, that you could do it at home and it's, it's to improve yeah. your posture and all the rest of it is like putting a fun, like it's no longer a chore to do it. Like you look so, forward to going So let me it. ask you this. Yes. A month later, was it still fun? For me, I think I did it about six weeks, maybe two months, and then I don't know why I stopped. Okay. Uh, Dennis, I, I stuck a, with it for a while. What about yourself, it, Walsh? It didn't last for me, yeah, so that question is pretty apt. Um, again, I go back to our list and I look at, we had two Nintendo games that we, that are very much splitting our list, and one of them, and they're both, they had this real commonality. One is like the perfect game for the perfect hardware, and it's Wii Sports, and it's mm. number two. The other one is heard from the bottom, and it's the hood. <laughs> and it's just a, a, like the most bland game with like the hardware that wasn't really great at the time, yeah. but it was definitely acceptable. It kind of worked, but like it was terrible. Yeah. Um, and just unfun even for children, which is my main <laughs> point that I hammered on on that episode. And then I think like this is like as close to splitting the uprights as you can get. Yeah. Because the hardware is. You can't fault it. It's it's good. It's intelligent. It's uh, it's a really good design. Yeah. Fit for the purpose and intended. The, and the software is you know it's a bit of fun. So like you know I'd never have a complaint if again if it was put in front of me and it was already on. I would literally never turn my Wii on and go find it and find <laughs> batteries to ever turn this on again in my entire life. <laughs> Somebody handed it to me and everything was ready to go. I'd, I'd mess around on it for a bit, but that would be it for me. Um, and it's almost like it's really good hardware. And I bet there could have been a better game made to like be like a, a gamey game, like a, a, a Wii Sports 2 that somehow still had all the waggling, but also right. brought in that and had this like almost getting into the realms of virtual reality. Like, a, you know, you have to think that there's something that could be there with like a, a board with the new virtual reality stuff or at least something yeah. that gets your weight and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, that's a massive digression and pure speculation. But um. Yeah, so that's it's it's without being too exact, like it definitely is almost the middle ground of those two kind mm. of hardware, software kind of continuums. It's a weird little thing. I mean, it came out in nineteen, sorry, two thousand and eight. Uh, they did that Wii Fit Plus thing afterwards, which was you know just a bunch of other games basically on on the training mm. island. Um, and then Wii Fit U, like you said, uh, did they use that? Did they use the board in something else? Was it in? I remember the the lady was in Smash Bros. I remember that, but I feel like there was like a game where they used it. Like maybe was it Wii Sports Resort or something? They had like balance board things in there as well. I forget. Maybe there's. De- I think there was definitely a Wii U game. I know Punch Out that came out of the Wii U. Oh right, okay. Um, that's yeah, the whole yeah. thing that you can not only this, then you can do the feet. Dodging. Okay. Yeah, it, it cool. did sort of pick up on your movement. 
Um, it's driving me crazy because I, I I know what you're talking about. There's some other game where you'd also use it. Yeah. For a few different things and pick up on it. I forget what it was. The added yeah. value. But yeah, eventually, I mean, it was the only sort of that was it though you know i guess they had their kind of like the wii's big you know moment in the in the mainstream success son uh we fit was kind of similar where it like sold a shed load and then that was kind of it i mean they did it like there was no there was no means to sell other things or to to work expand on it so um well they did a little bit but that was that was kind of it uh yeah so i guess we get to the this is interesting because this is the sort of first like you could put a question mark after game in this situation it, it's as much a lifestyle tool as it is a game uh but it's it's it was good enough for for nana singfield it's good enough for us okay. um so uh, let's uh let's get our game on there where do we think we fit for the we is going if we're talking just software it's going to go low are we for, are we wrapping in the whole program? you can't i don't think you could buy this without the yeah, you can. They, they, yeah, yeah, they later did. And just just from a, a quick little sneaky look, apparently Wii Sports Resort had this thing too, which was like a later sort of Wii Sports game. Yes. And yeah, also, apparently, cool. the non talked about Wii Music. Ah, really? Interesting. Yes. Um. Yeah, Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, I remember there being something like a running game or some some. Yeah, there's a few. Really of, like, I think it. the fencing maybe is it. Right. But then we're you know that doesn't we're not reviewing the board I guess we're we yes. are reviewing the game uh, and yeah like we said I don't think it was purchasable without the board at least certainly not launch uh, so yeah where do we think this is going we are judging this game on the fact that it did cost about eighty quid as well at the time I guess a little um, bit um should we go for another countdown of lies here but not oh, use the oh that's just, good just uh, just as a, what we say but okay. as, a, as a starting point like a like a gauge. Okay, give me a second to have a little think then. Dennis, do you have, do you have an idea where you want to put it then, if you're... Uh, ballpark. Okay. Um, I know, I'll shit out one number. I feel like I'm going to put it a little bit higher because the idea of Nana Singfield using it uh, is just so goddamn charming. Uh, especially if she's using it along with her Beatles rock band at the same time, maybe doubling them up. Um, Repose and then playing Paul's bass. <laughs> exactly, yeah. James, do you think you have a place for it as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, all right. I don't know what the fuck, where I'm fucking putting this, but okay. Uh, let's do it. So three, two, one, then number, okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Three, two, one, 30. 35. Oh, Whoa, my God. Mr. Knuckleton. So I said 30. Dennis, you said 19? Yeah. James, oh, you said? 35. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I okay. was... I was I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm kind of like I was just doing this for Nana. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> the list means nothing to me. Uh, okay, where do we, Dennis? Where do you think then? You were yeah, the... nineteen's probably too high. Okay, like I'm I'm definitely not rating that on the back of my own enjoyment of it. That was that was me. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted. Yeah, let's let's do it one more. If this time. list gets back to Nana, I, I just I, it would hurt me. It would hurt That's me terrible. to know well, that we've rated her games not really high. Um Yeah. Thirty thirty's fair. I love the fact that it would be right above GG London. <laughs> I, I guess well like I think if anything Dennis sort of slapped or like sorry, slapped my face and poured cold water in it. And also your point was very much like, okay yeah you used it but for how long? And I was like, oh, I guess I mean, again, if you're doing something for six months or yeah, sorry, sorry, six weeks, six months, yeah, geez. But like pretty six good. weeks, it's pretty good. Um, and but yeah, no, I think I think there's a fair point though when it's like, you know, what to do and like as Dennis brought up, like would I pull out four double A batteries, plug it in? It's like, yeah, it it's one of those game. things, right? Where like if you're if it depends, like if you like sign up to Weight Watchers, right, and like you don't lose weight, then it's not really worth it for you. And if you bought We Fit and it didn't help you get fit, then you might not think it's pretty good. Like I don't think anyone's buying We Fit to like have fun necessarily. I yeah. Think you probably buy a different game if you're doing that. Uh, so it's kind of like, are we judging this game on actually how good it was at getting people fit? Because I don't, I don't think any of us necessarily lost any weight or got fitter playing We Fit. Uh, Got a little fitter. Did you? Okay. A little, little bit fitter. And I'm not sure if we had any fun with it either. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I think I think the pressure was there and you talked me down and I was looking at the list and again I was like, the, again, I see it putting it above The Witcher. 
that's again are we are we spending too much should we just pretend that no one listens to this in the first place because I, I pictured the pretend. witcher and, and, the, <laughs> and i was just and i was just like oh god like what's gonna happen when that goes above the witcher and people are just like no but oh, yeah. um fuck this one's yeah. hard this is even harder than the beatles rock band fuck the fuck that she's still playing it like seven years later eight years later is fucking every day as well doing my head in um all right let's uh okay it's, let's it's harsh it's it's like this is one of these ones where like we knew this was gonna be a problem with the list because like <laughs> yeah. this isn't like apples and oranges this is like apples and like i don't know like I, soil i do it <laughs> i do it again before gone home i do it again before angry birds i do it again before city hero oh, i never played city hero. oh no um, that's absolute nonsense you'd play all of those before you i would play. not i would not play gone home well no I don't think I do Angry Birds. They should, you know what? They should fucking do Gone Home with Balance Forge. That'd actually be perfect. There's your walking <laughs> simulator right there. Yep, Just they did like a VR headset. Left, right, left, right. Actually, it would be pretty good. I could have a Segway simulator or what hey. they hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaning forward and backwards. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's that genius. Be yeah, they should do that with like... the In San Francisco, they have like those Segway uh, tourists... Yeah. So they should have like VR headsets on like Segways and you just like wear them across, you know, in Ireland, you could just be like, have your VR headset and then Segway around San Francisco and then just like fucking drive it off the bridge or something. Just <laughs> As a slight aside, and we can get this another day, it sort of bothers me that they now have roller coasters. <laughs> right, that's, yeah. that's completely getting away from the voting. I just, oh, I, you brought that up and I was like, oh. oh, they'll be on the list soon enough. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. So do you want to go for it again? All three of us. One more time. See if we're a little bit closer yes <laughs> here are three two one number again okay three two one thirty thirty two okay, okay <laughs> did third. you say three yeah no, i know um 32 i think was, i think Ooh. honestly honestly I'm, I'm still sort of there i i think i think it's it's excite bikes better i'm just yeah. asking i'm just asking a question i've never really played excite bike yeah, we haven't played. None of us have played enough sci-fi. That's clear to everybody. Is it's it better than GTA. Play. I feel like it's better than GTA London. Yeah, I think so. Fine, thirty. Okay, so uh, now I feel like a jerk. Now I feel like no, I'm no, just no, like. I think, I no. Think you're right. no, 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 I think you're right. Think I'm too tired and salty for this. <laughs> yeah. so I'm just, I'm just blurting out numbers. If you did this again, I'd be probably top ten. <laughs> so like, we can't do this all night. <laughs> yeah, it is almost twenty to three. Twenty <laughs> four. Is it really? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, they have just they haven't played Dota, and then you get your bus. Another <laughs> eighty-five minute game and lose. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Well, that's it for a tournament of lies, episode eight. Thank you so much to Dylan Singfield, his grandmother and granddad, um, and everyone us. else who sent in. Yeah, great ones this week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, to the folks on Twitter who sent in uh, all theirs as well, Thomas Wynn and I think there was someone else as well, I forget um, so the four games we have in this week are Theme Hospital at number 6, Beatles Rock Band number 21 uh, We Fit at number 30 in fact they're the only three because we have Candy Crush Saga and what was the other one? Zombie Zombie, zombie. zombie or Zombie U, oh that's yeah. a good point are we going I... to review them separately or together? Because I'm probably you... going to buy the Wii U version Okay, as I was about to say, I think well, it's on sale right now on Steam. Oh, it but is. I, I, I was I, well, it must be. But I was thinking that <laughs> you could probably still get it cheaper on a. Uh, well, no, I, I don't know. Then, well, we could go down the two birds with one stone. That's what I was thinking. Like someone else plays one. I because I played like say the the Wii U version and actually no, you don't have to do all the Wii U version. I think it's. The I same. no zombie U zombie on Steam is only a tenner at the moment, okay. so that's yeah. that's that's pretty good. Whereas. I own f- Zombie U, so I can, like, yeah, I you guys want to do it on that. It's, it's it, uh, always seemingly on sale, I think, on PS4. I have a lot of credit on my PS4, so I'm always looking right. to find stuff, but I haven't but then, bought on that. I'm, I already own it on a uh, hard copy on Wii U, so oh, I'll you play do. on that for uh, sure. It costs uh, $30 on Wii U right now. Uh, James is shaking his head. I, I, think, I think in eBay. I think I picked up for, like, $30. On eBay? Yeah, that's probably... Okay, let's... Uh, Let's let's see where we end up because maybe it ends up being slightly better on Wii U or or maybe not. Um, yeah, it's a, I, you can get it on Prime right now for for less than twelve dollars on Wii U. So. I, I do know I do know with the Wii U as it was a launch title, it was still one that was trying to do that like 
split screen yeah down at the thing tablet so maybe mm. you, you miss something not playing it on that yeah i've uh, i've just ordered it on wii u so okay. <laughs> there you go. you're not you're not going to miss anything then. No. <laughs> uh okay cool um super that's uh that's it for this week thank you so much uh, dennis enjoy your time in belgium thank you so much for making time today you're an yeah. absolute star uh, at dennis thank on twitter side bernius mr james o'connor Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, sorry for the delay this week, folks. We will uh, be back, I guess, in two weeks' time uh, with another episode of A Tournament, A Tournament, A Tournament of Lies. Until then, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Like, subscribe. Touch yourself. Send us emails. Do all that stuff. Have a great week, and we will see you on the other side. Adios!